Hi, I'm Chris Court and I've been designing, creating, building and tweaking Squarespace websites for years. In this video I'm going to show you, step by step, a couple of different ways to implement a cookie notice banner to comply with UK and European law. By default, all Squarespace sites use cookies, so if you're in the UK and Europe you need to display a warning for your website visitors. Your Squarespace website needs to inform visitors you're setting cookies and clearly explain what cookies do and why. You must get the user consent and while this can be implied, it must be obvious. One way to do this is to display a simple banner that states we're using cookies and directs visitors to a page on your website for full information. Squarespace doesn't have an out of the box solution for this so we need to insert a little bit of code into the site. To get to this section, click on settings, advanced and then code injection. And in the code injection control panel we're interested in the header section and we're just going to paste this little bit of code in here. And this bit of code is available in the description uh, field below. But basically once we've saved that away I'll open up a new, new window here, click on refresh and this gives us the standard Squarespace cookie banner. If we want to customize this message or put extra links in it I'll show you how to do that in the next section. It's possible to update the message within the cookie banner and again we do this with a little bit of code snippet. So we're going to navigate back into settings, advanced and code injection. Here we can see the standard message here. Uh, I'm going to just paste in a little bit of code here which you can again, again get in the description field below. Um, you can see it's, it's, it was basically the same but I can change and alter the text here. So you can see the basically I've put in uh, the big company PLC. If we save that and I open up my other browser, this is the old message here. If I click a refresh on this, we can see that this changes to big company PLC. So moving back to the Squarespace screen, uh, we can see that we can put in our own message in here um, that suits our situation. In addition to this, we can actually put hyperlinks in there as well, and this is a very good idea because um, ideally you need to guide people to a cookie policy screen uh, page on your website to tell them what's going on. So we can change this a little bit here again. I'm going to cut this whole page part in. And you can see here that this section here will guide the users to uh, an option where they can click to the cookie policy screen. You need to replace this cookie policy path here to the place on your website where you've got your cookie policy. So again if I save that and I open up the other browser window this is the old message, so I'm just going to hit a refresh here. And you can see here, if you agree to our cookie policy, and that will link off to the cookie policy page. I haven't got one set up just right now, so uh, that will go to a page not found. Uh, but that's how you can alter and arrange your cookie policy banner for using the Squarespace uh, facilities. There are other alternatives. In the next section, I'm going to show you some of those. There are several alternatives to the rather bland sort of Squarespace cookie banner and one of my favourites is Cookie Consent by Insights. Um, the link to this is in the description below but uh, this is a really nice utility. If you click on download here, um, it gives us a lot of options to configure the layout, the colours, um, what actually happens and then it generates us some nice code that we can then put into our page. So basically we can set where it's going to appear, whether it appears at the bottom, the back, we've got to push down floating left and floating right, um, different types of layouts, um, classic wire edge lists as well, these kind of just change the look and feel of it. Um, we can change the colour, either one of these uh, default ones here, or we can actually set our own colours. Um, the learn more link, um, it's got a quite a nice link, default link to cookiesandnew.com or as I, as I showed previously, if you have your own cookie policy you just need to put in the URL into this section here. Uh, different types of compliance. We talked about just telling users that we use cookies, although this does give us options and additional snippets of code to uh, let users opt out and let users opt into cookies. And again, one of the last sections here is we can change the text and we can change the, uh, the buttons here as well. Once we've done that, we can copy the code here. That takes us a copy of the code that this has generated. I'll just go back to our Squarespace site and again, 
If you go into settings, advanced, code injection, this is the old uh, one we were working on just a minute ago. I'm going to take all of that, paste in the section that we just got from uh, Cookie Consent, save that, and if you go back to our browser here, click a refresh, we'll have a nice uh, Cookie Consent option down at the bottom left hand, right hand here. I really hope you found this video useful and easy to follow. If you'd like more Squarespace step-by-step -step videos, subscribe to my channel or join the All Things Squarespace Facebook group for videos and more.